the CV is the summary of your life. In total. For example, if you are applying for scholarship and project, you need a CV. If you are applying for um, a specific job, let's say for example, customer service, you need a resume. What you resume does is that it's focusing on the skills you have exactly that matches you with the job you are applying for. Are we together? Yeah. The focus of the resume is your skill and your experience that qualifies you for the job. The purpose of the CV is to tell me the full story, where you are coming from and where you are going to. Do you understand? So the CV will tell me in order, from top to down. Do you understand? What you've done academically. Do you understand? Yes. Now, this day you see everything that's sensitive to me, it's something like you can know the origin, the whatever, your gender, your age. I don't care about your age or anything. Those things don't matter again. What you want to see is your name. Now, one of the things you have to understand is that depending on what you are applying for, if you are applying for a job outside, there was a time that I applied for, I did apply, I was recommended for an international And I made a mistake. I thought you would see you when you are good. Do you understand? Then, send CV to the original person and say that ah, I'm not qualified. And then later I was like, but they didn't put me in. Later I went to check, like, oh, did you see that? Come on, that on my CV, I left two jobs open. Let me explain. My CV was showing that I was currently doing two jobs. I didn't end it. Do you understand? And then, based on what was your paper, she didn't even talk to you. She didn't even explain. When I talked to you, the guy said, like, man, I'm you. And you're not changing. Do you understand? That's how powerful your CV is. She never made me. I've got to make this way because you, you saw my CV and you said I can never do the job. Do you understand? It's very important that when you do your CV, uh, reflex. Do you understand? So, if you are applying for the job and you are doing the same job together, and you are applying, close it, end it. Do you understand? So now, when you go to the CV, there are different sections in the CV. The first part is when you have your name and your address. Yes, that's the name. That's the address. Okay. I still have time, Abby. Are we together? Yes, sir. Your name. Then the next one is going to be uh, your skills. After you, your name and your other, the next one is your skills that you have. Don't go and lie. Ah, I look at that pressure. Look at that pressure. You let us see that you can do that. You can do that. Ah. I can't even play myself. <laughs> see, the, 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 one of the things you have to do for yourself and your place is to tell yourself the truth. Everybody is lying to you, tell yourself the truth. I look at yourself, will you employ yourself into your own company with your attitude? Are we together? Yes. Yeah. Your skills that are relevant to the job that you acquire, which add and source skills. Pretty good. And after that, what you have is your other things like that. Then you have your work experience. Work experience for that. Work experience, you could be able to complain, you could be time, month and year. Good. And you had your, your, what you call, job description. What did you do? What do you achieve? Do you understand? What I, what, because what, what your employer, prospective employer wants to see is what you want to achieve, beyond what you are going to do. So sometimes you have to have no doubts. For example, as president, how many members are you? Sixty-five. Five. Sixty-five. Now, you can say something like, I led a team for a club or a group to sixty-five people to achieve something, something like that. Numbers. Numbers matter. Do you understand? You led a team as president of your led a team of seventeen young people to do this and that. Do you understand? Numbers. If you have a leadership experience, complete them. Leadership experience, volunteering experience, add it. So, what volunteering experience tells us is that you don't just care about yourself, you care about the community behind you. Do you understand? And whatever you are volunteering, you must reflect your interests and forces. So, go and ask yourself, what are you exactly are you interested in? What kind of a missing society that you are interested in solving? Then look for the things that are in that line. I recommend the family members. Minimum of two. I don't know. So, when I start doing four, I will see a list of 
Yes. I don't, I don't, I don't know you are going to be a student, a serious student, and then you are acting in four NGOs. Are you together? Yes. It's, it's a matter of, but people that are reading your CV, they are not done. And sometimes people don't read your CV, the machine are reading it. It's very So they just, yeah, the machine is reading. So what they do, what the machine does, they look for keywords. So when I like those keywords, it speaks to people that have those keywords. That's why sometimes you are applying for a job, research about the job, and then find make sure that you have skills that are in line with that job and put it there. Don't lie. Don't lie. Are we together? Don't lie. Do you understand? So you put it there. That uh, some of those skills that you, that you have, put it there and you see it. Because some of you take pride in having 15 pages CD and tell yourself, I'm not going to 15 pages. That's why the strongest in the way that even the first page is enough, tell me that I'm bad about it. That's why you put your skills for it. Do you understand? There are a lot of work experience. And I want to connect your work experience with your skills. So, your work experience, your volunteering experience, your leadership experience must actually confirm that those skills that you presented before are actually true. Are we together? Do you understand? So, then after that, you can have, depending on the kind of person that you are, you can have published essays or books or personal certificates, professional certificates that you have, you can add them to it. Do you understand? So, if possible, sometimes, let, let me mention this. See, like I said earlier on, everything you are doing, take it seriously. Your panayat is, if you are writing TikTok, you don't just keep going with that. Pick a topic that actually speaks about you know something. Do you understand? Because and then you can you can pursue publication. Publish it in the time. It helps. Especially if you want to run in Nigeria. Publish it in the money here. But for those of you that are staying there, you can make it work. Are you with me? Yeah. Ah, wow. <laughs> that will be good, whether you live or not. So do you understand? But yes. what you want to do is can go, go and learn and then bring the skills back and learn that way. Do you understand? We can change the other that when you want to Do you, are we together? Yes, sir. So all of those things, all of those things matter. See, there is no information that is less important or more important. Do you understand? It might be, but like I said, your CV cannot capture 100% of the story. Otherwise, it's very interesting. Do you understand? For example, now, you know, see, everything you, you go through in life, you have to make sure that you try and learn from it. Do you understand? There are people that got uh, scholarship or admission and joy just because they are still, maybe started from ghetto or something like that. And we are able to match that story in the background with the course you are studying at the graduate level and, and link it with the course you are applying for. Do you understand? It shows me that, okay, yeah, this person went to something and they went to study something that they can use to study a particular problem. Do you understand? And even, you might even, you might even tell them that, okay, this is that I'm a topic. Do you understand? If maybe you had an experience about something like that and then it influenced the course you study on campus. It also influenced the topic you chose for your final year thesis and all of that. Do you understand? It told me that okay, this person is actually concerned about impacting lives. Are we together? Yes, sir.